Hello, Dragon Ball players. Welcome back. We are round four. And today we are doing, now we're doing, what is that? Beerus versus, I think that is the new search queue. Perfect. Very exciting. I'm always excited to see the new stuff uh, showcased. I want to see how it does against this, uh, this uh, Beerus, which is arguably one of the better red decks in the format. It's Probably tier 1.5 if it's a really good pilot. It becomes a tier 1 deck, absolutely for sure. Um, and I'm excited to see him play against, the obviously, the new Surge stuff and see how that matches up because they're both ultimately trying to do the same thing with their whole Awakening turn of uh, bringing out the 5-drop Goku and killing. Although the Surge crew might net a little bit more advantage um, off of everything. Let's see here. <coughs> Getting set up now. Let's go, baby. And we're back. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, they're just uh, getting ready, putting their life and stuff. The round uh, started. No stress. If they do go into time, they have the time extension. So, a little time extension. Granted, with uh, decks like these, typically they don't go into time just because they are a little bit aggressive. He starts a Topo in his hand. He's got the Reversal Vegeta. Huh. All right. Let's see what happens here. Perfect. With the Mullen back. Um, the Beerus player chose to keep one card. Oof, loses the rest of them. Yikes. All right, he's good. And uh, the Surge Coup player chooses to keep two. Interesting. So both hands weren't ideal, I suppose. They're going to be mulliganing with you back. And well, Tev, my boy. Yikes. All righty. Those nice Mega Man sleeves. He's got his deck double sleeved, if I'm not mistaken. He's got, uh, so, he'll have four cards in hand and we'll think he has, like, a Bible there. That would be hilarious. Four. And four. Sweet. We're alive. Let's run it. They're going to roll for start. I assume they aren't. No, they maybe already have. Good handshake to start it. Goodwill, goodwill. <coughs> oh, look at this camera view, baby. And he passes. Great. Great turn. Great turn. <laughs> and right back at you. We're going to hit him with the charge. I think he gets the attack, though. Oh, wow. He gets the attack. Pretty good. Gets the draw. And that's gone. Oh, maybe I'm in caps. Alright. Draws two. The first couple turns are going to be a little bit passive here. It's just going to be charge, charge, pass. And no, it looks like he plays a crit. Alright, wow, this might hit. I don't see him losing two cards in his hand just to not take this. And that's a crit damage. Oh, he pl that's interesting. He's playing red. So it's not the, oh no, it's not the, uh, it's not the red one. Never mind. Never mind. What's up, Danny? Nice to have you in the chat. Twitch Prime, eh? Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Now I see what he wants to do here. Gonna charge a bean. Bean is at the best and the worst card at the same time. Always. Everybody who plays it can relate. Gonna draw two, discard one. Just thinking on the discard. Just thinking on the discard here. Oh, he's playing Ultra Instinct. Okay, that could be a factor on the uh, Awakening turn. He's playing a bunch of new stuff. Oh, he's playing the Secret Kefla later. Uh, Kefla, Gogeta, or Vegito. There you go. He's going to get to untap mana. Energy. He gets to swing with it. That's pretty good. That's value. <coughs> and he's going to let it go. He might not let it go. Championship card here, yeah. and he doesn't let it go. He sacrifices the other one in its place. Gets to draw two, discard one, on tap one. It's just still working on that discard. Got sort of a champa. So blue, yellow, interesting, very, very interesting. I think that. Uh, I think it's going to be a mid-range deck. 
and it's just going to focus on poking poking and then it's also going to have uh, the bomb which is the Kefla and the Wincon and maybe a overrealm card like the Fu or something can't play the because I doubt he plays enough black cards but probably just like the Fu or something Tricolor Surge, indeed. Huh. Alrighty. Let's see here. Just thinking. Swing with the leader, put a little bit of pressure on. Wants to uh, hit him. Surge leaders awaken on their own. They don't need uh, to be at four life. We haven't seen a Kefla leader yet. I haven't seen anybody play that either. Like I haven't seen the Kefla Surge leader at any table just yet. Hopefully there are a few at, uh, maybe there's one that makes top tables and we can put them on stream next or something. That'd be neat. Gonna charge a Chompa, so now he's got two yellow active if he ever needs it, and he's going to swing probably a leader. See now, I don't think I don't think uh, Tev is probably is expecting the secret rare. He might be, but um, they can really catch you by surprise. Like tapping down three of your things just is game ending, and uh, the only real out to it would probably be like a Chompa to tap it so that you don't insta die but we'll have to see what happens here because I don't know if the uh, search player is going to be able to stack his board enough to be able to put on that real big kill turn at the end <coughs> it's paying two for something and another Goku big surprise here And he's going to read that to see if he could play that. But we're waiting. Our floor judge is, uh, our stream judge is handling it right now. And he reversal nukes everything. He is still going to get the effect at end of turn, of course, though. Um, he's just getting rid of the board pressure, which is like, it's understandable, I suppose. Like, I don't think, uh, I don't think he thinks that this deck plays any, um, any other cards that have like 20k, but he's still going to draw two on top one. He's got the Bojacks. We have, we see those now. Pretty good. And he's going to charge something. Let's see what he does. He's got a lot of monkeys in hand, so it's going to be good for uh, his Beerus effect. After this here. And it's a hard life when you open four Whis, uh Multicolor Whis. You know, what do I charge? Let's see, what is he going to charge? Just left that card on the table. Sick. Well, that's a pretty good card, man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shout out. He's got the Judge Foil. Um, guaranteed, guys. If you didn't know, if you foil out your deck, you will win more. It's 100% uh, confirmed. One, two. And he could tap two to draw two right now if he feels like it. But he could do that, or he could choose to go a little bit more aggressive. The Frost Deadly Poison isn't live, so if he has like a, a Dark Banisher food, that'd be pretty good. That is just as good. Holy. Does he have an answer to it? <sighs> what the heck? Look at this aggro. He's going to go for double strike crit. If he does not have a negate, this is going to hurt a lot. A lot. That's insane. Baby. I don't think he was expecting that double strike, uh, that double strike pen. Fearless pen is such a good card. People people tend to sleep on her. Thinking that she's not amazing. There we go. There's the Bardock. We were expecting it. And here he is. He just has to combo five more K to get over it. He gets to tap the Vegeta and the turn is not as explosive as it was going to be. That's the that's the thing about this deck. It's uh probably very mid range. So holding the uh holding the the Vegeta there was probably the correct play. I just don't think he thought that he was playing the monkeys and he thought didn't think that that's what it was going to be. Typically you see this uh this engine being run with uh with the Broly leader. Wait, well, switch it up. This leader's pretty good. This new Namekian and Saiyan Surge stuff are insane. Uh, the venue sold out within the first 30 minutes 
of uh, of having them, and it's pretty insane. No, no, okay, up. So we tap down this. The turn's not as explosive. He's not swinging with the pen because that's a horrible idea. And okay, super combo. He wants to make sure this double strike goes through, which is understandable. Either he's gonna, yep, he's either he's gonna empty his hand or he is going to take two life and go to two, and that's very very scary against any red deck um, because now I think Beerus is also yep Beerus is at. Four life, so he's going to awaken. He's going to be ex be able to extend his turn. Um, if he wants, he could actually just awaken, tap two, kill the ape, and move on with his life. And then his his opponent doesn't have much to do because it is very mid range. He's not close to the secret rare. There's a lot to do here. Hmm, playing the master roshi negates the old school master roshi negates. Red yellow leader. No, set not. Maybe. Not like this. He's going to see if he doesn't manage to swing back, it's going to be kind of, kind of rough. Red, yellow being such a good color combination right now, having a, and like choosing to play blue in it as well. It's very, very interesting. I think, uh, I think those Bardock apes are so expensive for a reason. They are amazing. Being like, as we saw there, that one, that one turn L helped him out combo one thing and then just tap with a whole other attack. So. He stopped a 24k double strike attack for free, basically. Essentially for free while drawing a card. It's just insane. So when uh, he awakens, it's his ability, uh, SSG Son Goku Surge of Divinity, that is his name when he uh, will awaken. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yep. And if your life is five or less, you can choose one card in this card, place it in its owner drop area, choose one. Choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and negate the skills for the duration of the turn. So a world... A board-wide bloodlust vape is basically, and this card gets 10k and critical for the duration of the turn, which is probably what it's really meant for because that is insane. <laughs> if you could do that on defense, imagine how crazy that'd be. Permanent super combo on your leader for the whole turn, busted. <coughs> so he's blocking with the pan here. And he chooses to defend it. Does he choose to defend it? Oh, no, he's probably just arriving. Yeah, he's going to arrival. He's going to arrival something, probably keep the leader tapped. No, no, it's going to blow something up. So it's going to blow the ape up. Pretty freaking good, if you ask me. That ape is gone now, and along with his turn. Granted, if he survives next turn, he's one turn away from the secret rare. No, just play for five. I might play for five. I think he just has past turn here. I doubt he plays a threat. He's probably test played against this matchup enough to know what to do here, so let's figure it out. He's gonna read the leader. Okay. Boom. Tap three for what, sir? Oof, that hurts. Oh baby. It doesn't hit the pan. It doesn't hit the beer. It doesn't kill the beerus, but it clears up a little bit of the board. No, it doesn't kill the pan. It doesn't kill the pan. Does it? Does it ignore barrier? It might ignore barrier. That's probably why. It kills the pan. That's busted. It does ignore barrier, right? Eh? Oh, that's nuts. That is nutty. Well, there's a reason this card's $55, I suppose. Wait, hold on. No, it doesn't ignore barrier. Unless, did he do something to negate the ability? Um, am I crazy? Can you tell him to hold on? Uh, I think we'll have a different one. Maybe I might be nuts. Yeah, he killed a card on his board that he couldn't kill. Just go tell him before they do anything. I might be crazy. Maybe I'm bad at the game. The pen has barrier. The pen has barrier. That pen has barrier. How did he kill it without using that? We caught it, boys. We caught it. We're watching. My Mongekyo Sharingan is activated, and I see everything. 
So luckily, there was no uh, there was no damage done there. All that happened was the pan died, and he just got it back. The beginning of the turn continues, and everything is cool. Phew. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Don't stress. Doesn't ignore barrier. I got you guys. Don't worry. I'm telling you. I'm uh, I'm one for one for two now <laughs> with my calls. <laughs> Fifty percent ratio. And now he's gonna swing at the Beerus. Let's see what happens. It's rough now because he doesn't get the uh, the draw anymore. He does, however, get to pressure like this. Go up to twenty five four free. And his opponent has to try to do something. Shout out. Thanks, DBS Dex. Appreciate that. C Rod commentating. No, my name is George. Unfortunately, I am not C Rod. I wish I was C Rod. Actually, I wish I was Peter. But unfortunately, it's just me. Alright, let's see what he does here with these attacks. He's going to be swinging 25. He is at 3 life, so it is very, very much worth it to attack a Surge Leader. Um. A lot. It's, it's, it's very good to attack. Sorry, it's very good to attack a surge leader when they're unawakened, um, just because you want to pressure them as much as possible. And they are 10k, so he's taking that Beerus swing and going up to 35. Gonna draw two. That card's not dead, but not as good because he's already awakened. Unfortunately, uh, that uh, that Vegeta that uh, Casey played was really really huge because it managed to kill his Beerus so that he couldn't uh, awaken and play that five drop. So I'm quite impressed. That was insane. Thanks. This is very different. I thought they were decks were going to be similar. He might be saving his awaken for the uh, for the offering to play the five drop. He might still play it, but now he's going for game right here. Actually, oh no, this is this is scary. He's dropping everything, but he's not thinking that his opponent can potentially Beerus him back. So this is scary. If he all ins here and dies, it's going to be really really rough. Unless he's all inning with the pen, he might be all inning with the pen. I think that's what's happening. Baby, is that all? Any other combos, sir? Either he outs it by just cheating out the, the Beerus and killing it, but he doesn't have the mana for it, the energy for it. So he's gonna awaken. Let's see what happens here. He can't do anything on his awaken side as far as like surge abilities go, I'm pretty sure. So he's just gonna be sitting here doing Fortnite dances for a bit. That seems to be the case. Yep, so active main battle. Oh no, he can do it for battle. He can give himself 10k for battle. Yep, he can He can actually uh, take away the double strike if he wanted to too. He can just negate all the abilities on board and that would take away the double strike. <coughs> that's freaking crazy, I just realized. That's insane. And he takes one damage, that's what he did. Oh baby, not like this. That's, that's, that's really, really good. Yep, he overextended a little bit and got punished for it. Granted, we don't know if his turn is over. Um, being at one life is insanely scary. So if he has like, yeah, he doesn't seem to have any negates in any but he passed turn. Okay, he passed turn. Yeah, so that was that was a rough overextend there on his part, going up that high. I think he was really hoping he had game, but if uh, Casey's unable to kill him, he's probably guaranteed dead on the swing back unless he has like a topo or something. Let's see what happens. He got that Goku Black in hand again. He could just play that. Try to build his hand back up. And there's a Beerus charge. Interesting. He's still trying to get to Secret Rare. That seems to be the only way to th one of the only ways to win, but he does have a Chompa in hand as well, so he could just out tempo his opponent. I'm surprised he didn't attack with the leader first though and try to give it critical double strike or something like that. Maybe push push in that sense, because um, I don't think Tev has much more combo power in his hand. So he would probably almost guarantee got that double strike crit off. But there's a super combo. Draw one. See what he got. Did he get the Beerus? Was that a Beerus? No way. And 
happened? What's happening right now? Wait, okay, he got he got over the, the combo or something? Or what's okay, okay, okay. So we're just skipping some steps here and there, but it's fine. Got over the combo. We're good. Or he took it, sorry. But so we're good. Now he's going to swing here. Does he have a negate? <coughs> that is the question. Because negating this attack would be really huge. He might it might finish off with him just passing his turn. And it saves him the worry of getting crit to death, which is very scary. <coughs> He's going to use the surge ability, give him plus 10,000 critical. Unfortunately, the leader cannot be targeted by Beerus, so he can't pop it. Are they saying that he? So he, I believe he drew. He drew three and he untapped. I think I saw him do it. He did it on his opponent's turn, though. That's why. <coughs> Is he gonna chomp or not? Is it just one damage? He just took one damage. All right. Well, it's his own misplay. If that's the case. Well, that's unfortunate. Like it, uh, it says, um, they don't need to stop the game. On the card, it says you may choose. Uh, what's it called? Let me see here. Let me read it. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, choose one red card early on in your hand. Place them under this card. You may draw three cards, so it's optional. Then you may choose up to one of your energy. So he doesn't have to do either. Um, it doesn't affect the game. It doesn't affect the the game state in that sense. He just he just didn't do it. So it's as if he chose not to do it, and that's how it's ruled. Under pressure, he just he just forgot to do it. That's all it is, man. I saw. I have the shining gun, bro. I'm telling you, I didn't miss anything, man. I thought I saw him do it, but it might have been might have been different. Um, we play in Orlando. Good stream, guys. Thanks, Danny. We're uh, looking forward to seeing you on stream, buddy. He did not draw three or on tap. Again, it is optional. So. Um, choose one red card and one yellow card in your hand and place them under this card. That He did do that. And then, um, tap one. And then, um, you may draw three cards, then choose up to one of your energies and switch them to active mode, flip this card over. So it's, you may draw three cards. He said, I don't want to draw three cards. And it says, you then choose up to one of your energy. He's like, I choose zero. So it's unfortunate, but he just forgot to do it. Um, and it's not anything that we have to like stop the tre stream for. If you forget to do it, you just forget to do it. It was optional. The Surge Awaken is optional. Is it? Oh, maybe I read that wrong. Choose up to one card in your hand. Place them on this card. You may draw three cards. And choose up to one energy and switch them. Oh, the draw isn't optional in that case. Okay, sure. The one. Uh, waiting for Runeterra. Hello. The one. Uh, Tev one. Tev one game one. That's a phrase weird. Yeah, Tev one game one, and they're going to game two. So yeah, the draw is mandatory, I guess. But you missed it. You missed it. Um, give us one second, I guess. I'll go and uh, give us one second. I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, I just talked to our stream judge and he did make him draw three, um, so we're good in that sense. He just drew three uh, off camera, I guess, or like just in, in, in all the ruckus. Play it back, you see your, my stream judge uh, reassured me that he did draw the three cards. So we're all set, everything is on track. He sh Honestly, he should have drawn three. Yeah, he drew three, no stress, no stress. We're good, we're good. We're good. Boom. Cool, cool, cool. Our stream judge is on top of things here. 
sometimes, and uh, like some people were mentioning, sometimes it uh, it does get very overwhelming. It can get very scary. Like being on stream, it can get to your nerves, so you'll forget. So you'll forget stuff. It's why we opted to have a stream judge constantly watching, just because, you know, he, he helps us not miss these things that are mandatory and stuff like that. But all together, misplays on stream always hurt. Well, no, he drew the three, so it wasn't a misplay yet. You haven't caught us yet. C-Rod wouldn't have left. Get out of here. <laughs> I left to talk to him to make sure that he drew the three cards. And he did. So we're Gucci. Well, off camera. Off camera, it's type. I'm dead. You guys are wild. Careful, chat. He might use sharing gun to annihilate you all. No, bro. I use my shining gun for justice, not evil. You need to chill. But yeah, he drew three. You just didn't see it, I guess. Bull upset for no reason. Sick. All right. Game two's on its way. They're going to draw two. This card's the Champa. Hmm. I don't know how valuable the Champa is in this matchup. But he's going to deny love, hope it. This is the play I was expecting off him on this turn. He's probably going to play a crit Beerus next turn and try to push a little bit with that, with some crit. Uh, there is a day two event, uh, Elegant Elp Gang 42. There is day two. It's uh, it's just Top Cut, sorry. Um, and I believe Team Wars is tomorrow as well. So those who pre-reg to, uh, to Team Wars, if they make the, the Top Cut and there's a little bit of overlap, they will get refunded. So it's not a complete neg. Green Dragon Ball for Rune Terra, Toxic. Rune Terra seems like it's going to be an interesting game, too. But Dragon Ball is where it's at, baby. We don't do that here. Big facts. So he plays that. He got reversal and nuked the board. Wow, he's just constantly just killing everything that he tries to bring out. So this is a very different play style from what we saw in game one. Maybe it's because he's going second. He's uh, opting to just constantly nuke board and deny get a denial of hope deny him haha <laughs> bum but uh it's not going to stop the hand advantage he's still going to continue to swing although now it's going to fall upon deaf ears because he's 15k unless he combos up he's not going to get anything swings and is he discards okay cool and he Probably won't combo, or maybe he's gonna bean. He's probably using a bean now to be able to apply pressure, but also um, probably just to be able to cheat out some apes. He takes the hit, so he's going to be at f so five life now. Yep, he's at five life to his six. And it's very interesting. I still think the Broly leader is probably better than this leader is. Uh, then in it for this deck rather just because like the Broly leader can provide so much advantage like you draw You've just plus two every single turn and when you awaken that untap is so insane Being able to take a life untap anything you want swing with it again And it really the mana control I find is better as well with that Broly leader Just because you awaken so early that's two extra mana you have to play with and you can just spam out the, the mid range is a lot better in my opinion All right, so 
we charge? Don't we charge the, the paid one for the Beerus. That critical Beerus is actually providing so much value. Well, I got double it. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> no, the good thing about Beerus is that he doesn't need to attack to use his leader ability to draw. So even if he had forgot to attack with the leader first, it's chill. He's going to use leader ability, discard Mutaito, and draw two. Mutaito probably... Uh, it's a good card in the matchup because it hits the secret. But again, um, Tev doesn't know that he's playing the secret just yet. So... I guess I understand, but now um, Casey's managed to get a 20k beater on board, and he's going to start putting a little bit of pressure on with that. Only question is, does he attack the, the Beerus, or does he attack the Beerus? But um, poof, he attacks the leader, probably, because Red has so many ways to just clear board. It's getting to the point where it's like starting to rival like Green's ability to board clear. At that point, what, what's Green worth? Oh, right back at you, he says. Any response, sir? Probably not. Well, he might. He might have like a Frost Deadly Poison. He could play a Frost Deadly Poison right now. And he's not at 3 life, so he would have to pay the full 3 for it. It'd be kind of an egg. But instead, he's going to reverse slam that boy down. Boom, boom, boom. Unfortunate. Nevertheless, Tobo did hit the board. KC1 game one. Oh. Sorry, KC1 game one. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. All right, yeah. We're going to fix that on uh, KC's end, right? That KC1 game one. And that reversal Vegeta is pretty big right now because it just nuked his whole, his whole board. Kind of rough. Draw two here. Classic move. Casey's in a pretty good spot right now. He's got board presence and he's got a lot more, or one more life than him. Hold on. Baby, what's the delay on the stream? Yeah, there's there's a delay on the stream because we are um, streaming the. Well, we're playing the stream here at the at the venue. We've got like a TV out, and uh, people once they're done their games, they can come sit and just watch uh, the people on stream. It's a fun little thing. So we've got a little bit of a delay going on with the stream. But yes, that's pretty much it. Charging another eight Bardock, so I think he's he might have abandoned the whole attempt to spam the Bardocks out, which makes sense. Considering he's very, it makes him like optim, it makes him a target for that ver reversal Vegeta. He saw that he does play it, so playing around that's pretty smart. And the Beerus player gets another turn now, so Casey's kind of just chilling, I think, at this point. He, he just has to get to his secret rare and he gets to basically rip him. If tap him out or something like that. Probably go for a game with that. The secret rare hits pretty hard. And he's got like a board of Topo and the Vegeta. So that's uh, two extra attackers plus his leader. So he could probably do a good amount of damage. But I don't think the secret rare next turn is the play. 
unless he's like uh, opting to awaken as well, then he's fine because the blue in his deck makes it so uh, so easy to menu manipulate. <coughs> yeah, I explained the delay, and then I delayed to explain the delay. It was a uh, a vicious circle there. It was a big rough. And he's playing another one drop Beerus. Does he have anything on that? He's thinking. He has a bunch of me uh, energy open, so we'll see if he does anything. And it clears. Yep, he's good. Gonna choose to do minus 5k to Topo. Take one life, most likely, and there it is. Secret rare him, please. Yeah, teach uh, Perch Evil, that's the mood. Yeah, guys, there was a pretty, I guess, a rough snowstorm, uh, from what I heard. At least we drove down, so we didn't have to deal with that. But um, the flights, the flights, a lot of flights got canceled. Like I said that earlier in the stream as well, um, a lot of our judges uh, couldn't make it, and some of our staff couldn't make it. So that's why uh, we're they did their best. Big shout out to Top Cuts. They really stepped their game up and and uh, filled up all the holes. Got some judges last minute to uh, make sure that the event runs smoothly. And now he's going to pay two. And most likely draw two? Question mark. There it is. All right. I thought he forgot to draw two. Makes sad. And is this the turn he awakens? Let's figure, Let's find out. He hasn't been able to line up his awakened turn. Oh, I see the secret rare. <gasps> oh, that's crazy. I see the... Uh, the Clash of Fate secret rare in Tev's hand. He's got it. The the Frieza with Broly and Paragus on it. The one that uh, nukes the board, nukes, nukes your opponent's board, 40k or under, ignoring barrier. And also, um, what's it called? And uh, there is, there is. There you go. And also, uh, you get to look at your opponent's hand, discard a card. Frieza, Emperor Reborn. S that's a very scary card. Out there, and they're just cruising right now. I think, and the topo swings. Oh, he's trying to apply the pressure. It's uh, interesting. Casey's hand isn't huge, but he does. He does. Uh, I think he dr like uh, like baby. He draws the majority of his cards on his awakening turn and stuff like that. And Tev is gonna flip here, awaken, untap two, to have some sort of uh, mana open when he's on defense. And he just passes turn. Yep. If he gets hit hard enough here, um, goes down to two, he could potentially swing back for game with the secret rare. He has enough uh, enough energy to do it now. And it doesn't seem like, oh, Casey doesn't have the secret rare in hand, so that isn't an option. But if Tev lets himself get hit down to two life, he can potentially steal the game because Casey won't have an answer to the secret rare either. That could be pretty insane. And wonder why maybe he could have uh, saved his awakening turn for that in that case too. It's kind of what happens when you charge all your Bardocks. You uh, it's just kind of hard to land. like if he had some Bardocks in hand there, he had full energy up there, so he could have comboed a bunch of them out and just like protected his turn, protected himself that turn pretty easily. Drawn some cards, gone through his deck, and one drop, one drop Broly. Let's you look at your hand, everybody. Pretty good card if you ask me. I'm so close I can see his force. Thanks, we try. That card is insane. I think a one drop that does that. <coughs> That's crazy. It does the same thing as a secret rare freeze, everybody. <laughs> it's just not uh, not 40k quad attack. Quad strike, rather. Quad strike. So 
still thinking on what he wants to do here. Uh, unless he, well, he can still awaken probably. That's the, that's the move I think. Huh. That's crazy. Are you just waiting on what he wants to do? No, p no sense in awakening if you're not gonna go for the kill, I suppose. But you're kind of just chilling here. And he's going to combo. Any other combos are arrivals. I'm uh, just going to 15 it. Put some pressure on. Beerus can't play Sensu Bean unless he plays blue. So Combos away in 8th. That'll be good next turn. So now he may opt to take the hit. Attacking with the higher attack guy first, which is interesting. He's attacking the crit. Okay. So maybe Casey was thinking, I'll swing into the leader. If he takes it, I'll swing again into the leader, put him at two, and then try to go for a game with the Chompa that he has in his hand. Uh, since he didn't, I'm assuming, oh, that's pretty big. Gets in minus those 215k. And now the Vegeta attack is basically useless. It's still an attack, but it's a 4k attack. So unless he combos up, there's no point in doing anything with that. And he probably won't. So this is Beerus' turn. I think he needs to uh, he needs to do something significant this turn, because if he gives um, Casey another turn, it might not end well. To be honest, I think I think Casey's setting up for his his blowout turn next turn. So uh, yeah, hopefully he can hopefully he can do something. I'm always game for an underdog. It can negate it can negate uh, quadruple strike during battle. Hopefully, he remembers that from the first game when he went to uh, he went for a game with double strike. That was that was pretty insane. He had it uh, he had the game basically, but he basically got God Strike Beerist with the leader effect <laughs> and lost it. I don't think he was uh, too knowledgeable about about that. Let me pay two. Probably take the monkey out. Draw two. Yep. Those monkeys are so good, man. Everything in that draft box is just money. It's so strong. Everything is, it's just so strong. Fearless Pen wins to have the game here. Um, I'd say probably not. Because if he does Fearless Pen, then he... Uh, well, I don't, we don't know what's in Casey's hand, but if he just pay, pays three and nukes the board again, like, <laughs> this is going to be rough. But I don't think he actually has a red man. No, he doesn't have a red up yet. He might. He can't do that. But, uh, but yeah, maybe. Fearless Pan would be pretty good right now. I think what he's trying to do is trying to crit the life away before showing the Fearless Pan. But then again, he could take away the double strike like he did last time. Um, so we don't know. Force him to surge. Yeah, it would probably force him to surge the, the DOS 13. You're right. It would definitely force the surge, I think. of all skills yep you're right you're absolutely correct does the surge leader wipe out just the board or the leader area as well let me see here negate the skills of the duration of turn uh no uh, uh, uh. choose all your points of battle cards ignoring hmm so just battle cards so if he tries to go double strike in with the champa he can kill he can't take away the double strike with the ch off the champa yeah so it's just choose all of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier so maybe save that. Oh, never mind. He didn't save those things. I don't think he's fearless padding this turn regardless. Like, his hand is probably quite defensive, and he's probably putting his eggs in the secret air basket. But it's interesting that he cited in that uh, Vegeta, that King Vegeta card, though. And there's the Beerus. Is he going to stop him from untapping his leader? That would be pretty good. 
Oof. Try again. That's pretty big, but I don't know about that trade. Like, I, at the end of the day, he had the, the, the energy up for it anyway, so it's not a big deal. But he gets a draw. Yeah, he gets a draw off that for sure. He got the energy for it, and I think it was just to buy him another turn. I don't know what case he's going to play next turn. But big oof. Yeah, Frost Deadly Poison could hit the hit hit the pan. Yeah, a lot of possibilities here. Uh, is he does he have combination attack in hand? I think he sided in combination combination attack, guys. That would be freaking spicy if he actually managed to pull that off. There's so many ways to just stop all ins with against this deck, man. It's just crazy. I think that's where the formats are really headed. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be a non um, a non uh, what's it called? A non all in meta where you just have to go wide and spam small attacks. So I think that's why Hatchak's probably going to excel a little bit. So your favorite leader guy is Hatchak is going to keep uh, doing great things. If he plays the Seeker Rare here, he just has to hard tap 8 for it, and he can't. He doesn't have enough mana or any en enough energy right now. But he passed his turn. If he lets himself get hit down to 2, then yes, he'll be able to Seeker Rare. And it should be good. But... I, like you guys were saying, if it gets Ultra Instinct back, because now we know he plays Ultra Instinct. And, um... Yeah. Now we know he plays Ultra Instinct, and he also plays, uh... What else? That can Frost Deadly Poison can hit it. I don't think it has Deflect, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he picked Leader. I think the Leader's tapped, and he didn't get to, uh... This guy attacks, draw two cards, or yeah. All the <sighs> it's gonna be another turn of doing nothing, really? I don't believe it. Okay, swing with the well, swing with the ultra instinct. He's gonna super combo up. He's digging. Okay, at this point he's just digging for a threat. He doesn't have very many mid-range threats in his deck, I could like besides the monkeys, but the monkeys are all in his energy, literally. He's gonna combo the Beerus. I would have just played the Beerus and draw one, drawn one, dude. To be honest, and he takes the hit. So now he's thinking about about quadding him to death, and even if he doesn't quad him, being able to see your opponent's hand and take out things that you don't want to have to deal with and nuking the board and stuff—it's just—it's so invaluable. It's crazy. That information. That's why the one-drop roll is crazy. Yeah, he tapped the leader with the, the beers. That's what happened. Leader five. Well, this game might go into time if they don't uh, if they don't clean up here. If uh, Casey doesn't take this one too, might go into time. And here it is, the surge awaken. Oh, he showed the combination attack. That's unfortunate. Combination attack is one of my favorite cards. I've gotten so many people lacking with that card. It's insane. So draw one, untap one, basically. But he gets to dig into his deck for those kill cards that, he's need, that he desperately needs. Did he see the SCR or not? If he sees the SCR, he just drops it, like, instantly. Double strike. Oh, what's he doing here? Double strike 29. There's a bean. Back up. It's at 34. Is he just going to ship it at 34? He's still being weary of the beers, which is smart. Super combo. Uh, there, he had the beers in hand, but he chose not to do it. He used the beer leader ability. There it is. And that puts him over. 35. Very, very easy. Beerus is so good in these situations where he gets the free combo from Grave. The longer the game goes, like I said before, the more value he just slowly accumulates. But... Like if this if this game goes two more turns, I don't think uh, Casey will take it, just because Beerus is just will overall out advantage him. But we'll see how it goes, especially if the Seeker gets played. It doesn't look like Casey drew his though. We're still waiting to see what the turn play to do to the turn play is, because the Seeker is your attack. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. He's chilling. 
I mean, he's he's chilling in a sense. Like he's not he's not too too stressed. Can give himself ten thousand power if he needs it. Can nuke all abilities if he needs it. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Expansion set tournament pack. Yeah, these expansion set tournament pack cards are crazy. One Mutaido in energy. So he has. Uh, he didn't go down to uh, to two though. Why didn't he go down to two? Why didn't he take the hit? He was scared. I think he was scared that his opponent would not play something. So now he's probably regretting, really regretting, not going down to two. Reading the Ultra Instinct, it's just a vanilla 20k right now. It doesn't do anything afterwards. And he's going to swing question mark with something? Into like a topo probably? If he has another if he has another topo, I think the game's over. Uh the board and just the well, I mean he hasn't used any of his energy to be fair last turn either, so technically it's not over. He did surge awaken, so that that's over with. You can't have that explosive turn. Minus 5k, take a life. Oh my god, wait, I forgot he could do that. I didn't know he had any Weezes in the grave. And he's playing the SCR. Does he have a response? Is the Frost Deadly Poison going to come out? And how fast will he scoop if it does? I don't think he has a response. I don't think he has a response. He would have played it already. Oh, I bet he doesn't have the response. Okay, he could steal this game. Very, very winnable. It nukes the board. Let's not forget that, at least. Well, let's hope that we don't forget that. The Frieza does nuke the board. If they forget to do it, I'll wave somebody over to go and uh, make sure it gets done. What's he choosing to discard? Let's see. Big decisions. Big decisions. So he chose to ditch the topo, obviously. I'm assuming he doesn't have one. The board is getting nuked perfectly. Man, that's awesome. I didn't see that hit a Whis in his drop area. I hiding under all that clutter. That's the, that's the best thing with Beerus players, man. They just hide everything like that, like that. Did he combo? I wonder if he calculated how much combo he had in his hand before he swung with the Frieza. Because if you just go to that perfect amount, then you don't have to stress about anything. So you can just probably go up to, thir to 45 and you're chilling. He'll either out combo it and lose his whole hand or just take it away with that. There's no need to. <laughs> I hate when people grab my hand and start ruffling the cards. <laughs> that's hilarious. Dino Pigger, man. That's that's deep, bro. I love when, when people grab my hand too, man. No cap. Man's like manhandling it. God damn. All right, this chat... This chat's lit. <laughs> so he's swinging. He took the damage. Took away the... Uh, so the... So I don't know if he can beat the combo. I don't know. He'll, he probably did the calculation on how much combo power he had in his hand. He might not be able to beat the combo and he's thinking of a way to do so because... Well, for obvious reasons. He's not swinging with anything just yet. It's a very touchy situation because one misplay costs you the, the game here on either side. 
if you choose not to negate an attack or if you choose not to out combo a certain account you're just dead right now obviously casey's at the point where he has to out combo everything or he's dead but i'm not sure what kind of gas he has in his hand i think i see a nimbus he got a nimbus off his life holy that's insane that's insane top deck god if he attacks the leader first then he's in trouble for sure I think you just swing with like the Topol first or the Beerus first to. Oh, he ran right into it. Oh, the top deck god. Nimbus baby, boom. And so now it's uh, it's just a question of all inning, I guess. Swing it. Shiving. Any negates. Drop it. He just drops his hand here, I think. It's, it's all or nothing. Um, the Beerus player probably can't survive another turn. Going up to 40k. Let's see what else he has here. 40k. You say just 40k? No way. He doesn't have any more combo power in his end? Or is he thinking about something else? Trying to be crafty here? There's 45, 40k, 50. 50k. Fifty, sixty, seventy. He got it. No way. That's insane. All right, game three. They have four minutes, five minutes to set up <laughs> and try to take it. Oh, baby, that was a big rough, big big rough. Uh, that was okay. He's from my phone. He must have one. Yikes! Toxic. That's toxic, Aspira. Hey, George, how are you? Um, man. All right. Well, he's he's doing fine. This uh, this was very interesting. I think the. The all the Frieza is definitely what won him the game there. Obviously, um, the fact that he had that Weiss in the drop area just blew it up. That was insane. I didn't I didn't see that he had it in there. That was hype. Um, but yeah, it's uh, one one now going to the last game. They're going to be siding in some stuff here, and it's pretty good after that Nimbus man. Yeah, I can't believe it. It was, it was that was an insane top deck too. Like that's probably as the best you could have top decked off of your uh, off of your life. And then your opponent plays into it as well by swinging with the leader first, and you just didn't have enough to uh, to stop it. It's kind of sad. But now they're uh, it's a tie. Uh, it's a tie. Dragon Ball rules. Going to most life? Question mark? No. Is it? Did they? They probably. I think they changed it. Yeah. Might be a tie and end up one one. Uh, two o oh, two again. Hey, listen, man. Two o oh, two can top, baby. Don't 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 uh, don't stress. It's all good. O2 can definitely top. Not drop any more games. <laughs> so they seem to be done side decking. Uh, Casey's still going at it actually. I think he side decked like two cards already. Now he's side decking a couple more. Maybe changing back. But uh, oh, he got the nice divider and everything. Tien's Mafuba combination attacks. Very very standard side deck. Very very good side deck though. Anyways, the the triad color is very impressive. Um, I think it's interesting that uh, he opted to go for that with this build. I don't, I'm not sure how much the blue um, affects it, I suppose. But uh, but yeah, we'll see. Like uh, this should be quite interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, and he throws. Five back. All right, so Surge Ku is not looking like he had the ideal hand. Going to throw five back and try to get a little bit more. I think, honestly, a big problem for the early game are those crit Beeruses because uh, they do they do a lot of damage. It, it adds up after a while having such little cards in your hand. and um, Or it's not such little cards, but just not net, like netting that one card off your life can add up. Like Just a neck two is pretty big, right? Especially if it hits something like a negate or something. That being in your hand makes all the difference. I think that uh, that one drop, well, three drop that becomes a one drop Beerus is pretty invaluable in this matchup and in most matchups. Let's go, baby. And they're going to ch have just enough time to charge. I think they get a little uh, five minute extension or something like that. A uh, 10 minute extension. Okay, so they're not close to time. Yeah, they still have 10 minutes uh, before time is even called. So this can potentially not be a tie. 
Granted, Casey has quite the advantage going first again. Gets a draw two, he got his Weiss, and he's gonna swing for 10. He's gonna take the 10. Rather take it there than get critted away. Am I right? Am I right? Any Broly or Surge doing well? I haven't even seen any Broly Surge there. I've been trying to get one on stream, but I can't find any. I'll uh, try to cop one next round, see hopefully there's one at like the top tables and I can grab him. I know that's what everyone wants to see. I want to showcase this Surge deck uh, a little bit more and it's like cause it was tricolor, so I was really excited about it. But um, let me see here. Broly. Broly Surge deck leader. Leader. All right, and there. He's thinking about what he wants to charge. P put it flipped down in his energy area. That's not allowed. That's fine, just kidding. Hatchy draw. Hatchy draw. Good old Hatchy draw. Hatchy act does work, man. People people underestimate like the smoke that that guy puts in, bro. He puts in that work. And when I say that work, I mean that work work. Well, I got the, the, the ape on. Better to see the ape on board than in his energy, in my opinion, to be honest. Take a quick whiff. I'll do my, my runs next, uh, next time around. I'll get some info on what's at top tables and stuff like that so I can come back with that information for you guys. But right now he's just uh he still has yet to put a red in his energy. Which is fine. But I wonder if he's gonna attack with the ape to his leader or to the uh, to the uh, Beerus. I think it's gonna be to the Beerus or nobody because Tev is going to negate minus fifteen. Boom. And just like that his turn has half come to an end. Any baby or androids deck? I'll take a look for you, uh, bro. Hit mo tip. Uh, I'll take a look and see if I if there are any um, oh, what's it called any baby or android decks. We had a baby on stream. I think the first the first game, if I'm not mistaken, the first game we had a ba we had a baby on stream. Um, he was playing against. I'm trying to think here. It's been quite a long day already. Um, I think he lost. That's all I remember, unfortunately. I don't remember what he was playing necessarily. But now this Beerus matchup is interesting. So he technically tapped out, but because the so Goku Black is so good, he got him to untap one, draw two. So he's still got some defense running. That's quite the expensive uh, charge he has there in his energy. The fifty dollar uh, energy you have there, sir. Like a month ago, it was like five hundred bucks too. That's the worst part. The uh, the price hikes on on the uh, draft box is insane. We have some uh, like the vendors here have them on sale and they're just getting cleaned out. People are just buying and buying and buying. A couple friends who pulled like uh, who bought two boxes and pulled an ultra instinct out of each one. It's pretty good. Second androids if they're here. Okay, I'll take a I'll take a look. Try to find me some androids. I wanna I wanna see androids too. I think it's uh, definitely an interesting deck. And they're announcing the win of mats and stuff like that for uh, for the venue for the events. Boom. And a little bit short there. Boom. There you go. So the Beerus comes out. He's on his turn. So I'm assuming he's going tap the uh, the leader keep him tapped unless he pops something already I didn't see but he's going to oh my god neg three nuke that take three get to awakening range oh he's just going for it baby but he has two energy up I don't think this is the play man I really don't think this is the play <coughs> he didn't need to take a life he didn't take an I didn't think I don't think you need to take a life to take it uh, to, to minus 5k and there's the, that's the correct play here because now he's going to awaken. 
Because if you could have gone into two and got a pan out at the same time, that would have been insane. But I don't know if it's worth going to three just to uh, just for the sake of going to three. Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. And now if he swings with this, it's going to be quite painful. It's a uh, search coup. It's red, uh, red, yellow, and he's playing blue in it as well. So uh, he's uh, spamming out like we're trying to spam out like Bardock apes and stuff like that. And he has the the uh, blue yellow SCR in his deck, the uh, Vegito, Kefla, and Zamasu. There we go. He's at five life here. Search piglos and top devils. I haven't seen any, but I'll take a look. Um, the what's it called? The baby player was playing against a demigra player. Now that I think of it, that's what he's playing against. So we had baby on stream at the beginning. He played against a demigra player and lost. Uh, what just happened here? Took it with a chompa. Oh wow, this just ended very abruptly. Huh. That was like instant. Well, all right. That was very interesting to see that matchup. Um, you guys are asking for androids primarily, I believe. Um, androids, and I want to see some Surge Piccolo too. Hand control is always fun to watch. I was watching one at the lower tier, at the lower tier table, and it was it was it was weird. I, I just don't think that guy built his deck properly, though. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was a draw, of course. And uh, yeah, hopefully we we get. To we get to see something cool right after. We're going to do we interview them? No, draw, no interview. No interview for the unfortunately draws don't get interviews. But uh, but yeah, I think that's 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 good right now. Um, I'm gonna go do some scouting. Gonna find myself a nice nice uh, matchup, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. See you soon.